Hello guys and welcome back to the Dividend Investor and back today with another video. On the topic of today's video, I'll be going over my new video series that I'm starting. Um, using the Trading 2 on 2 app, starting a uh, growth portfolio. Before we get into today's video guys, if you're new to the channel, um, welcome and talk about investing and personal finance etc. So definitely consider subscribing if you like this video and check out more videos that I have as well on the channel. So guys, I'm starting a growth portfolio using Trading212. I've been thinking about starting a, a, port a growth portfolio for a while. And then I thought I might as well do it, trying to invest as much as I can in many, in many different ways and in many different companies. So I'm going with Trading212 with this portfolio, guys. Obviously, you all know I use free trade at the moment. So I thought it'd be good to have a bit of a change and uh, just try something new out. So you can see, guys, the portfolio currently stands at £17.63. At this moment, obviously, I've only just started putting money into it, really. But <laughs> my returns already am up 28.31%. Overall, I've only invested £13.74. And as you can see, the portfolio can, stands at £17.63. So, yeah, guys, obviously, it's different to my usual uh, portfolios, which is usually dividend uh, growth investing. But this is more focused on just the growth aspect, so any capital gains that I can pick up. And obviously, some of the companies that I will be buying will pay dividends. I'll, get, I'll go over that with you, so I'll be showing you my watch list as well, and obviously just going over the few stocks that I have in here at the moment, just showing you what they are and um, how they're doing, basically. So I've, I have AT&T, which is, I just have um, a really tiny portion, just 24 pence in them. This, I, I'm actually going to sell this position as it as it doesn't really fit the narrative now of my portfolio, as obviously I was just messing around with a few stocks in this, but now I'm taking it seriously. I'm going to rebalance it properly. So that's AT&T are going. But the first one I have is uh, Micron Technology. You can see um, I've been only invested £6.71 and I'm up um, just 0.30%. Um, and it's still, even though you're only buying fractional shares in a company, it still shows you the average cost of what it would be if you was buying a full one. And the great thing about trading two on two, guys, it gives you quite a bit more company details about uh, each, each company, obviously, that you're buying into. So... Uh, Micron Technology is engaged in semiconductor um, systems. The company portfolio of memory technologies, including dynamic random access memory, negative and flash or norm flash are the basis for solid state drive. So it basically just gives you, obviously, I'm not going to read bore you with all that, but it gives you a bit of information about companies. Obviously, um, how many employees the company has, different ratios like market cap and PE ratio and company revenue. Also, dividend yield. If it's um, if it has one, obviously this company doesn't currently pay a yield, as it is a, solely a growth stock. Income statements, balance sheets has a lot. So that's one really good thing. The trading two and two does that free trade doesn't is um, it gives you that sort of information. It's really good it's the sort of information you get off the simply Wall Street app. And then also the graphs are a lot more smoother. You can sort of slide across day by day a lot easier. Still quite hard to get it on the exact day you want the first time, but it's not too bad. So you can see Macron Technology, in the last year, they've managed to gain 11.9% um, growth, which isn't too bad. So obviously, I'll be taking a lot more notice of graphs in this portfolio, guys. So trying to trying to think where I'll be best, the best time to buy in a certain stock is. As you can see, that they got to the lowest point around thirty-four dollars back in March, when the height of all the econ economic downfall was. Um, as you can see, they're back up now to forty-nine. So I'll be trying to pick up, pick and choose when I'm going to buy into a company again. I'll be mainly using fractional shares in this portfolio. A lot of the stocks I have my eyes on a, a quite a large sum of money. So that's Micron Technology, the first stock. Then the big one I have is Tesla. So my Tesla shares have 0 0.008 shares currently, and I'm up 70.5% with them, or just under £4. Obviously, Tesla have been absolutely keen in it over the last few months especially. So as you can see, it was not long ago, just in April, it was only $761, but the growth has been non-linear. And then you see $960 around a few weeks ago. And just a massive, massive spike up to what they are now. So in the last three months, they've managed to gain 129.82% growth, up £845. Then if you look on the last year, again, up 510%. It's absolutely crazy. So you do invested in Tesla. 
this time last year, even a few shares, you'd be a lot uh, better off now anyway. So yeah, again, it shows my average cost of what it would have been for if I'd have bought a full share at the time. So I would, it would have been a £907 share if I'd purchased the full one. So my plan with Tesla is, guys, just to try and invest as much as I can with these, try and get as many fractional shares as I can. And as you can see, just off investing um, a few pounds, I've already gained four pounds. So if I can get 20, 30, 40 pound fractional shares and maybe a little bit more, I'm hoping obviously the growth continues. There will be times where it dips. I have no doubt about that. I think we could be due a dip with them shortly, but everyone's, I'm getting pretty wrong. I've been saying it for a while. They're going to dip. They're going to dip, but they haven't actually dipped yet. So. I think with Tesla, they're going to be a big player in the future, so really good growth stock to have. And then another fractional share was one, an ETF. I, I will be investing in quite a number of ETFs as well, as obviously a lot of them do tend to perform well in the market. I think the S&P averages between 7 and 10%, I think, growth in a year. So regular investing in this. Uh, the S&P 500 Vanguard ETF are up. Uh, just under six percent for the year obviously they have pretty much recovered to what they was pre-pandemic well the f so right in february they were 49 pounds a massive dip of around 10 pounds just to oh, 37 pounds sorry and now they're back up to 48 so i just purchased a little fractional share there just one pounds and 15 again it's all about investing as little as in with the growth portfolio so investing as little as as much as you can no matter what the amount so I'll be investing a lot of um, small amounts into this portfolio. Let's just see how much we can grow it, guys. That's my main aim. So, yeah, that is my first trading 2 on 2 update, guys. So, just I'll be probably giving these updates, but probably once every two or three weeks, maybe not as regular as the free trade runs, but I'll be still doing them anyway. So, yeah, just get in the comments, guys. Let me know what you think about this new video series starting, if, you, if you're welcome to it. And, um, yeah, just let me know what you think about the strategy as well. And don't forget to, if you like this video, make sure you smash a thumbs up. Helps boost, boost the YouTube algorithm out and get this video out to more people and my channel in general. And get in the comments, engage. So, yeah, I'm going to leave you on that today, guys. Take care. Bye.